Okay, amazing sized planet that we saw getting hit by the sun, and wow, look what I was able to capture out of basically images out of NASA. And I'm not sure the date, but it should match what we see with the flare. It should have been today's, because it's supposed to be today's. I'll go to the website that I pulled it off of, and you see that massive magnetic. It's bigger than Jupiter, ladies and gentlemen, or at least the same goddamn size, okay? Because it takes 11, 10 point something Jupiters, the biggest thing we know in the Milky Way galaxy, to make the size of the sun, okay? That's one right there. So this thing's a little bit smaller possibly than, because you could start counting and space that all out, okay? So things, this thing is just a little bit smaller than Jupiter, and it gets its ass blast, and it's not Mercury, okay? And basically, I can keep going through these pictures because I took, and basically, we need to be looking for that there. We know that, what that looks like, and look for a blue image because I couldn't find it on Lasco 3, and if you see the time and the date, what are they not wanting us to see right there? Sorry about that mic action. And let's take another look at what we have already know that we've caught because we've seen the flare, and there's the planet. Okay, you can't miss it. Nice shot. But letting all the scientists know and let even you know. And the, the pictures above on Beacon are boring. It's that other uh, ort. And basically, they're not letting us see. This is the same. This is Jupiter right there, ladies and gentlemen. That is Jupiter. Okay? You can go because this was behind. The right side was behind on this gray shot. You can go to Beacon right now today, and you can see it on the 20th. Okay? You can see my date and time down here. Okay? That is a flipping planet, and it's what I just showed you at the beginning of the video. Now, as you can see in the gray shot, <clears throat> that this is farther away from the camera than Jupiter, okay? And you can see the size of the sun, so you know that this thing is something just a little bit smaller than Jupiter, okay? So, super giants, folks, that's a flipping planet, okay? And as you can see, you could just figure it out that it's probably, I don't know, what, two-thirds the size of Jupiter, probably? Because you would figure about 11 Jupiters would be about that. Yep, I'd say it's about two-thirds the size of Jupiter. And we know that they're hiding. And we know that that's a planet. That if you go back to the gray shot, and I will, I'll stop. And you're going to know that a whammo. And I'm not sure if that's... I don't really think. I think that's just a CME today. That's that planet right there. Okay? A little bit smaller than maybe about two-thirds the size of Jupiter, ladies and gentlemen up by the sun getting its ass kicked, okay? And or pissing. Uh, and basically, these are a couple planets that you can see above Jupiter. When I zoomed in above Jupiter, bing, da-da-bong, okay? Planet, planet, and these are all planets also, ladies and gentlemen. There's tons of planets up there that are huge, okay? There's Jupiter. No discussing it, because I'll go to go to Beacon right now and show you right off of Beacon that this is where this came from today. Sky chart. 6.30 a.m. Hawaii, standard time. That's what they see. Basically, you'll have Jupiter, or oh, sorry, Venus. I got thrown off by the size that it should show, because Jupiter should be bigger. Okay? And Jupiter's behind. This was at 6.30 a.m. Now, remember, the sun comes up in the east in Hawaii, just like everywhere else in the world. But, let's go to the video here, and you'll see the supergiants go down also in the morning. So, this is the sun. It's going to come up in the east, okay? And you got your Oort cloud. And quite possibly, uh, direction-wise, that is our Oort cloud, no matter what, right there. You can see it, okay? And the sun shoots through it in the morning, and also the other stuff in the evening on the other side. Now, okay, we're, and I showed you the, the constellation map at 6 a.m., okay? And as you can see, you'll end up seeing what they don't let you see, okay? Okay, so that should either be basically Venus and then Jupiter. But Jupiter should have been the biggest. And if you watch there, let me pull it back, you'll see the super giants. Okay. They're more than likely is Jupiter. But you see you can see the super giants go down. They're going down right here. To the left. Okay. That's the supergiants to the left, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. You can see the right and then the left. Okay? Let me freeze it. Okay? And the Oort cloud's in the middle. And you can see the sun to the right. You can see that big there, the sun. Okay? 
and the super giants. This is the sun and the super giants, but this is the super giants over here. You can see it. Okay, and we'll hit play, and you'll understand what I'm talking about because the sun will be smaller. Come up to your right. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. See? And we'll let this play through real fast. But they're cutting out, and they're not letting us see a bunch of stuff. And that is that Oort cloud. There it is, that Oort cloud. That is an Oort cloud. Oort cloud, Oort cloud, Oort cloud. Get some good shots of it. Because, see, now they won't let us see. So we'll have to go to the actual uh, camera, the other web camera, to look up at the constellations in the sky and see what comes around there. Okay, and then you got the PM, but they don't let us see, as you see. They didn't let us see the come up. In IE, you see the separation that you end up seeing in Hawaii out deep, deep space. As you look at it, you see that darkness between more than likely the sun and then the supergiants down here. Okay. Now, there is something interesting from the the... H1 B and H1 A or something like that. There's something on the 18th that they don't want us to see. And it's probably what I just found and showed at the beginning of the video, folks. And basically because you look at the size of Venus, and then we know that uh, I'm pretty darn sure that it's idea that Venus is not is a little bit bigger than Earth, if I remember right. And then uh, you pop in and you see how far away, and then we know the sun's in the well here. And we know this is super giants here, but check out this other stuff here in our galaxy, more than likely the Milky Way galaxy, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, check out this stuff here. Okay, because it's way the hell out, and look at the size of it compared to Earth, way the hell far away out there. Because we've seen uh, Mars and the other shots, so we'll zoom in at 400%, flop over and go to the well. Apologize for, there you go. But you see how big that these damn things are. Huge. Okay, that, and then also, I think if I scan left, yeah, the idea that the speed of what we're seeing that one cluster, this one here, and the actions that it does. Okay, let's back zoom in on 400% on that. And I think I got an earlier shot too of all this and the big planets that's in that cluster there. And no, that's not Pleiades. I do not believe that is Pleiades. Okay, Pleiades should be out our back door on Earth. Then on the 18th, you need to also realize that all of what we've already showed you in the beginning of the video, a huge planet, about two-thirds the size of Jupiter, getting its ass flashed by the sun. Uh, and then those other two, those planets are huge. They're bigger than Earth and, and Mercury and everything like that that were off to the left. Let me go to the pictures real fast again, I think. And basically, you'll see these here planets here. Those things are way hell or huger than Earth by massive. Then look what they're hiding on that shot there, also what I'm telling you about. And those planets there, and I thought, yeah, these here are huge, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? And just think up, that's two-thirds the size of Venus, no matter what. And what the hell planet is it? Because that's not Mercury, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely not Mercury. Okay? So what the hell are those damn things there also, you know? Huge, super giant action. And yes, folks, you got to look at all the H's on the 18th because there's something they're not being able to let us see on the 18th and I can't really see anything right that's really blowing my mind except for we already know super giants folks stretching out real hot attempt yes folks anybody that's been in here looking at our stuff for a long time is we Nehemiah okay and yeah it's getting bigger and getting closer still hella far out though okay but I thought I'd show you these shots that I got well, I thought the ones that were more important was the constellations that I showed you that were in the darker sky to the south, out in the ocean. So that's that booger because you can watch your clocks and you'll see all the stuff. And then uh, also, yeah, I think I got, uh, if I keep going here, yeah, see how I, my pointer's up there? End up seeing these, and I think I zoom in on these. Okay, these show up. Terahydrons just before our supergiant that it has that object in front of it. Okay, boom, I zoom in a little bit more. I don't know if that's the most zoom I was able to. There we got the most zoom I could get on those terahydrons, tetrahydrons. Triangulation, and that stuff flops around that sun, which is the sun out of the supergiants, because that's not the sun, ladies and gentlemen, on time, and so forth and so on. And I even showed you in the other video this dramatic flop flopper we got there. Wild. Okay, that ain't no damn jet. Okay, doing a figure eight. Okay, 
then we see it take off, bam, bam, and gone. And then watch the clock. So no matter what, find anything you can find from the sun and find this object here and then figure out what that is there. Okay? 1736 UTC today is what I got that shot, folks, and it's basically that flare more than likely because all these should match up on times and so forth. I'll go up here, and the time's a little later, but you still get the flare. So as you see, there is layers on the sun of the shots, folks, okay, because I'll go back down here. I can scan back down, and we'll go across, and then we'll go across the times, okay. I'll go half. I'll go enough down to get you the times, and that's where we got that planet, folks. It's about two-thirds the size of flipping Jupiter because you know that 10 point something a little bit more than 10 point something is of Jupiter's is the size of the Sun so at 11 if you round it off and go high you know that's that's something that's about two-thirds or shit bring it down a little bit it's a third of the size of Jupiter it's huge flipping huge okay that was not Jupiter okay now all these shots were pretty much what four hours later, okay? And you can still see that the idea that it's flaring at something there, and it's that's the planet. So you can see that, the, folks, like I've always told you on these photos, layers, 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 layers. Because on that one shot, they didn't take it out. Thank you for not taking it out. We love you, NASA. Okay, so all the blues I'm going to show you are going to be the same thing as this shot here, and you're going to see all this planet pretty much that is right there. And a lot of this other stuff right here in the blue shots. Take you to it right now. Bam. Okay. You're going to see that stuff right above the sun here. And we're going to go and you see all those planets. Okay. Above and in front of the sun. It's the same camera shot, but this is in the blue. And I, the earliest I could get was 830. And what I've got on this is more than likely the planet that we found that I showed you on the shot. Because they go by this for an identifier. And these star clusters here and this. And basically... That should be what the sun was blasting. They didn't want us to see it. Yep, at least a third the size of Jupiter. They don't want you to see it getting blasted by the sun. So we'll just scroll up. So And you'll see that there's also floppers in that large object. And those objects there above the sun. And that there is more than likely our identifier. They're looking at what they're blocking. So as I screw these, these real slow, and yes, see folks, we get triangulation electrical action like crazy. That's how they ended up inventing the idea of magnifying. See all these planets? And basically all you should be able to see in this shot, this was from B behind. You should only see Jupiter. Jupiter should be our biggest damn thing. And check that action out up above the sun. Okay, huge stuff. Comets or asteroids. So that 8 was as close because that shot was at 230 UTC. And then the most recent Navy shot I had of the black and white was 2006, is the only one that I looked at today. Okay? So all the way through this, the only biggest thing that you should see would be from what they educate us would be Jupiter or Mercury today. We know there's a hell of a lot more than that out there, don't we? Okay? So just keep coming up through this, and then you could end up freezing. I think I got a percentage as about as like, good as I can coming up through this. And you see all that action going on up there. So there's tons of stuff they're not wanting us to see up there at the sun today, since they blocked that out. That find on the front of this, so another find. You know black, and we'll keep giving the, the, the raw data and the pictures as much as we can, folks. And yes, folks, it'll just be the retrieving bucket and the entry module. Okay. And it's still 125 km up, 112 km up. Okay? That's Phobos. And yes, Phobos Grunt is always in its highest trajectory when it's above America, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? So there's a the track. It's usually in its lowest out here, East Africa. Okay? This is actually a high trajectory here that it's at also. They'll bring it down more than likely somewhere here. Okay? They'll bring it down because it actually has also a orbit that goes along here. They'll take it down somewhere, either in the Pacific over here that they got the most water, or over here. And it could just be its rockets. I think someone got a hold of a satellite real cheap. Terahydrons, tetrahydrons at Kilauea.
then magnificent supergiant sun energy with those terahydrons, tetrahydrons. Look at this big energy ring from the sun and the supergiants, ladies and gentlemen. Humongous. Okay. More Hawaii next.